Today we'll be reading Pumpkinhead by Eric Roman. Otho was born with a pumpkin for a head. And despite what one might think, he was not seen as a curiosity by his family. One day, Otho was outside tossing a ball. High above, a black bat saw a flash of orange in the yards below. Tired of cold, damp caves, he thought Otho's head would make a fine place to live. The bat said, I can nest in it, feed in it, and there's meat and rind and seed in it. The black bat dropped from the sky and flew off with Otho's pumpkin head in its claws. Helpless, Otho watched his body running this way and that, growing ever smaller as they flew higher and higher. Otho was a healthy lad with a large and solid head. Otho's head grew heavier and heavier with every wing beat, and the bat sighed, your head would make a perfect home, but I am weary to the bone, and since it's heavy as a stone, and I can't carry it alone, so long. Otho squeezed shut his eyes and prepared for the worst, but much to his surprise, he splashed instead of splatted and floated on the sea. Days and nights through calm and storm, Otho drifted. Until one day, a great and ravenous fish swallowed him whole. Then later, an even greater and even more ravenous squid grabbed the fish and squeezed. Otho shot out like a cork from a pop gun. When he finally had the courage to open his eyes, Otho was drifting again, but trouble was looming. A fisherman caught Otho in his net and dragged him ab aboard. He said, I've seen lionfish, zebrafish, hogfish, monkfish, angelfish, devilfish, catfish, dogfish, goatfish, redfish, knifefish, clownfish, pipefish, needlefish, jackfish, billfish, goldfish, spearfish, lungfish, swordfish, sunfish, starfish, moonfish, kingfish, queenfish, jellyfish, bonefish, and rockfish, but never a pumpkin, pumpkin fish. I should get a good price. At the fish market, Otho was put on display with the other unusual seafood. Otho's mother happened to be shopping for seafood that morning when, Otho, she cried. Oh, my little Otho, we thought we'd lost you forever. And then, after some spring spirited dickering, she bought Otho's head and a half pound of mackerel. When they got home, Otho was reunited with his body. His parents had kept it safe in a cool, dry place and Otho's mother sat him on her knee. At first she smiled, and then her face grew serious. You must be more careful, Otho, she said. You know the world will always be difficult for a boy with a pumpkin for a head. And Otho found that suited him just fine. The end.